In this A-level IB biology video, we're going to be looking at all things associated with the cardiac cycle. Now, just to summarise what the cardiac cycle is, really, it's the sequence of events that takes place during a single heartbeat. Crucially, it consists of two main events. Number one, systole or systole, and number two, diastole or diastole. It's completely up to you how you pronounce it, but what do these words really mean? Well, systole refers to the heart contracting, diastole refers to the heart relaxing, which makes sense. We know that the beating heart must involve a contraction and a relaxation phase. So let's look first of all at systole. And I'm going to write contraction just so we know exactly what's going to be taking place here. So notice first of all that blood enters both the atria and ventricles pretty passively, so without the need of contraction. Why is that? Due to the pressure being lower in both the atria and the ventricles. Now when the ventricles are approximately 70% full of blood, the atria contract, blood flows from the atria into the ventricles and if we look at this structure of the heart let's just quickly label the left atria the left ventricles the right atria the right ventricles so we're saying that the atria are going to contract after all they are very muscular and the blood is therefore going to enter the ventricles so which valves must open well it's the atrioventricular valves otherwise known as the tricuspid and bicuspid valves. You must be aware that these semilunar valves here are closed at this point and that's to stop the blood leaving the ventricles. So I'm going to write that in the list of steps. So just to summarize, the atrioventricular valves open and the semilunar valves remain closed. The next sensible occurrence is that the ventricles contract, meaning that we want the atrioventricular valves to close because we don't want blood to go back up to the atria. Notice that it's this closure of the atrioventricular valves which gives the first heart sound, the lub. That blood needs to go somewhere, so at this point the semilunar valves open allowing the blood to flow from the ventricles into the arteries, either the pulmonary artery or the aorta. And at the same time, we need our heart to obviously constantly fill with blood so the atria start to refill. And remember, their blood comes from the veins. So we've talked at length about systole. What about diastole? So that's the relaxation phase of the cardiac cycle. So obviously things are going to be a lot more passive here. Well, we know that blood leaves the ventricles, meaning that the ventricular pressure will decrease. We need the semilunar valves, which sit in the arteries to close. And this is the dub. Why do they close? Well, to prevent backflow of blood into the ventricles. You must remember now that when the ventricular pressure is lower than the atrial pressure, we want that atrioventricular valve that sits between the atria and the ventricles to open to allow blood flow from the atria to the ventricle. So the ventricular pressure is less than the atrial pressure, so the atrioventricular valves open, meaning that blood flows from the atria to the ventricles. So we're setting ourselves up for the beginning part of the cardiac cycle. And then effectively the next cardiac cycle begins when the walls of the atria contract again. It's good to be aware that pressure is high throughout in the aorta and that's due to the presence of muscle and elastic fibres in the artery wall. So just to look at this diagram of the heart again, effectively during the contraction phase of the cardiac cycle, systole, we know that the atria and the ventricles start to fill with blood. When the ventricles are 70% filled with blood, 
the atria contract, forcing open the atrioventricular valves, meaning that blood can flow into the ventricles. We know that at this point, the semilunar valves are closed to stop the blood leaving the ventricles prematurely. And then when that ventricular pressure is greater than the pressure within the aorta, we know that those semilunar valves open in order to allow the blood to leave the ventricles. So during diastole, the relaxation phase, blood leaves the ventricles, meaning that the pressure decreases in the ventricles as well as the atria, so they'll start passively filling up with blood again. So now we need to look at this all-important diagram, which I'm sure you've seen before, which does look a little bit scary. I'm just going to make a slight addition to this diagram, which I've got from the Bio Ninja website. And I'm going to call the aortic valve semilunar, so we know what we're talking about here. It's the same thing. So let's start by looking at the left atrium blue line. So we can see that it is in systole, which means it's contracting, which is why the pressure goes up. Then the left ventricle starts to fill with blood, hence why you see the pressure increasing. And that semilunar valve is then going to open in order to allow blood to flow out of the ventricles into the arteries. So that's either the pulmonary artery or the aorta. Hence why you see the aortic pressure increasing because it's after all becoming filled with blood from the ventricles. Then what happens is the aortic valve or the semilunar valve closes and so pressure in the left ventricle is going to decrease. Why? Because there's no blood in it. And then actually the cardiac cycle is going to start again because you need the atria to then start filling with blood, hence the atrial pressure starts increasing. And then we know at this point that the atrioventricular valves need to open to allow blood to pass from the atria into the ventricles. Notice that the blood pressure is always higher in the ventricles when compared with the atria. Just make sure on this diagram you can identify that the large peak belongs to the ventricular pressure, the pressure towards the top belongs to the aorta, and running along the bottom is the atrial pressure. So make sure you can identify that, and then just try and remember where the various valves open and close 